Hi everyone, this is Theo from Parkerblocks.com. Today I want to show you this fountain pen. This is the Pilot Custom 74. This is the most beautiful fountain pen that I have in my collection. This is the Pilot Custom 74. I first saw this when my friend used it and from the moment I laid my eyes on this, I knew I had to buy one because it's so beautiful. They come in different colors, the solid colors are cheaper. This blue demonstrator version, this is a bit more expensive. It's selling for around US $160. The solid color versions, they are around US $80. I like the silver, blue and black color combination. It looks very classy. Let's take a closer look at the cap. The cap comes with a straight clip and there's a ball at the end of the clip. Everything appears to be very glossy. The top of the cap is slightly hollow so it gives an illusion that there is an air bubble inside. I'm not sure if my camera is able to capture that well enough. And right at the bottom there, there are some words. So it says here, made in Japan. custom 74 check out how glossy this ball is let me put the pen back in to let you see how the nib looks like when it's inside so it looks something like this this is a screw on type cap this fountain pen measures around 14 cm with the cap on it's a comfortable size for me I have small hands and I think it feels rather comfortable when I hold it like this without the cap. You can also pose the cap right at the back. It's going to make it a bit longer. So let's check out the rest of the body. This is the Pilot converter. This is Corn 17. This is the largest converter they have. And it uses a spring type refilling mechanism so you can just press right at the back and it will try to suck the ink up into the converter this is the body this is the back of the pen there is a hollow part inside that looks like the air bubble this is the nib and grip section it features a 14k gold rhodium plated nib and it's easy to dismantle this section you just have to hold this hold the nib and the feet section and just twist it gently left and right until you can pull it out there are some threads at the top so this metal section here can probably be remove from the plastic section right up there but i'm not going to do that in this video because i'm afraid to crack this grip section can you see this ink stain here this ink stain is actually between these two pieces of plastic there is uh, something inside and something outside so the ink is actually between right inside this tiny gap here and I wasn't able to clean that completely because I wasn't able to dismantle this part let's take a closer look at the nib so this is the design on it it's very nice this is a fine nib they come in medium and broad as far as I know this is 14k 585 and let me show you the feet section notice that there are some cuttings here and on the other side as well this is to help you align the nib properly so that you can uh, align it properly before you put it back into the grip section like this so this is how it looks like up close let's put this pen 
back together and fill it with some ink. I have noodleless ink here. Of all my fountain pens, this is the easiest to refill because of this converter that uses some sort of spring. So you just have to press this button right at the back to get the ink into the converter. And when you want to clean this pen, you can do the same thing by pressing the button right at the back to fill it up with water and flushing the ink out. You have to press a few times before you can get the ink in and it's very easy to fully load this pen. There are some bubbles here. To prevent the bubbles, you have to submerge the nib completely into the ink to prevent air from going into the converter. To get rid of the bubbles, you can just move the pen around and use the big bubble to collect all the small bubbles. It's quite easy to remove the small bubbles actually. This converter has a large ink capacity so you don't have to refill it that often. Alright, let me show you how well it writes. This is a fine nib so the lines are quite thin. Let's compare the Pilot Fine Nip to this Pelican Fine Nip. So as you can probably tell, this Fine Nip is much thicker compared to this Fine Nip from the Pilot. And it puts out more ink, that's why this is darker compared to this. The nib is quite smooth on the paper, although I feel that the line is a bit too thin for my liking so I probably should have bought the medium nib instead. These are lines drawn almost horizontally so for vertical lines they are slightly darker. This nib is very stiff. If you press down a bit harder you do get more ink and the lines will appear darker as well. So if you are someone who likes to apply a lot of pressure, then you can probably get darker lines. But of course, this is going to make the nib a bit more scratchy on the paper. If you like thicker lines, definitely get the medium or broad nib. Let me just do a very quick sketch with this pen. I'm using Noodler's Bulletproof Black ink and this is not the darkest ink in my collection but it works very well with fountain pens and it's waterproof when dry that's why I use it earlier on I showed you the ink from the Pelican M200 that is actually also Noodler's Bulletproof Black ink so sometimes the ink can look different depending on how much ink is put out by the nib. So let me try and pull this line like this to get the darker line. So if I want to have darker lines, I do have to press down a bit harder. So I press down a bit harder here just to give it a bit more contrast to make the lines thicker to give it more definition. But otherwise the lines that this pen can produce it's very uniform, very consistent. So overall this is a very beautiful pen. The main thing going for this really is how it looks. When it comes to writing performance it's actually not too different compared to other Pilot fountain pens. The lines are consistent, they are uniform, it writes well on the paper, it's smooth. If you want thicker lines, you can get the medium or broad nib. 
if you want thin lines then this is the fine nib so that's all for my review today if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i will also post a link in the video description to the text review in case there are any updates you can read all about it there thanks for watching see you in the next video bye